I'm David Story and this is The Look News 411. The state liquor authority will not make a decision on a proposal to change last call in Warren County until later this month. On Thursday, the state agency held a public hearing at the Warren County Municipal Center and requested the public have more of a say in the process. Warren County is proposing closing bars at 3 instead of the current 4 a.m. as a crime-fighting measure. Dennis Rosen is the commissioner of the SLA. I, I think there were some passionate arguments made on both sides. Uh, I think both sides were very uh, sincere in their, uh, in their uh, statements. Uh, there were one or two allegations of hidden agendas or lack of sincerity. I, I don't buy that. I think both sides were well represented. I think the arguments were very articulate and I think I've, I've got a lot of uh, uh, thought that I have to uh, uh, put into this. The Liquor Authority has extended the time residents can submit written comments on the issue until September 12th. A vote on whether to change last call will be held on September 25th. We provided a link here on our website to the State Liquor Authority's website so you can have your voice heard. The Washington County Sheriff's Office has arrested four people for marijuana growing operations. Officials say that they found several thousand plants countywide as part of a two-day eradication effort. Arrests and arrested and charged with unlawfully growing of cannabis are 51-year-old Mark Quackenbush of Kingsbury, 49-year-old Daniel Albano of Argyle, and 38-year-old David Erickson of Cambridge. 21-year-old Christopher Blackmer of Fort Anne was charged with possession of marijuana. A Greenwich man has been arrested for claiming thousands in taxpayer-funded public assistance he wasn't entitled to. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says that they have charged 54-year-old Edward Theveridge, Sr. of Greenwich, with felony grand larceny after he fraudulently claimed over $4,400 in Medicaid benefits. He was charged and released. Well, the future of professional hockey in Glens Falls will be up for discussion on Monday. City officials and the owners of the Adirondack Phantoms will hold a press conference on Monday. They will talk about the future of the American Hockey League at the Glens Falls Civic Center for next season and beyond, as well as unveil a logo to be used during the 25th season of AHL hockey in the region. The Phantoms are set to leave Glens Falls for Pennsylvania at the end of this upcoming season. Well, the new operators of West Mountain say they intend to open the ski slopes this year, even while its current owners go through bankruptcy. Apex Capital has launched a new website and started selling season passes beginning at $149. The website says Apex plans to open the center for the 2013-2014 season and bring back the good old vintage West Mountain. We provided a link to the new webpage right here on ours. The latest headlines are always here on the website and we're on air weeknights at 6 and 10 p.m. Look News can be found on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 68.